Guys, this is going to be a great episode. I've just been able to pick up a stack of great items to sell on eBay. I do this video every single week. If you're new to the channel, Trips to the Thrift, a whole heap of fun going out to these op shops, finding really low cost items that sell for quite a good price on eBay. If you get any enjoyment out of it, remember to smash the like button. I will see you in the first thrift. Just like that guys, we are underway. Now due to the coronavirus, I'm starting to sell a fair few board games. So I only ever buy the brand new and sealed ones. That Twister game for $8 was an absolute steal. Also as well, Gossip Girl. Now there weren't too many comps on this, but it was a brand new game for $4. So I don't think I'll be losing out on that one. With the DVDs, they were all a dollar in this store. I was only looking for the brand new and sealed. And I managed to come across a couple of absolute beauties. The first one here, Marlon Brando, the full collection. This one goes for about $45 in new condition on eBay. The West Wing Season 1, that's an absolute beauty of a TV show. So I'm glad to pick that up. And then Species, uh, the trilogy, 1, 2, and 3. Some good comps on eBay for those. Had a look at the denim jeans. And there were a couple of really good mentions here. The first one are these Zathan 34 waist, 32 length men's jeans. Guys, if you can find the diesel brand, even at $18, comps on eBay anywhere between $60 to $70 in pre-owned condition. So there's going to be a lot of profit made on these. They were in excellent condition. A brand for you guys to definitely be looking out for. A stock standard one here as well, the Levi Strauss, the Demi Curve size 30. These were only $8. I generally sell these Levi's between $35 to $40, including postage. Um, so just another stock standard sort of bread and butter winner for me that I was able to grab with the diesel jeans as well. Had a look at the shoes. A bit of a notable mention on these. A pair of Jordan Formula 23s. Um, look, they're in great condition. The soles are really good on these. There was a $15 price tag, but I had a look on eBay and all the comps were international for these ones and the best prices were between $30 to $40. So I passed. Very happy with the way we've been able to start things off, guys. Uh, when you're buying brand new, you can always guarantee yourself a top dollar on eBay. So we're going to keep charging. Op shop run number two is coming up. We'll see you in there. The first thing that caught my attention was this George Gently DVD collection. Now, this was seasons one to six, and there were comps on eBay anywhere between $60 to $70 in pre-owned condition. So I quickly picked those up. These Adidas Cross Porsche running shoes uh, definitely caught my eye until I saw the $40 price tag, and then I quickly put them back on the shelf. This was a pair of Harache Nike running shoes. Now, this Harache brand or, or make of Nike shoes are actually a really good one to find. Unfortunately, the discoloration, as you can see there, really Really put me off these for $15. What didn't put me off though was the quality of these Climacool men's running shoes, the red colorway. These are basically brand new shoes, guys. Absolutely never been worn. A $30 price tag. But unfortunately, even with a US size 11, there were no comps on eBay to help me out. So I did end up leaving those ones on the shelf. A really tough call. How about this though? Probably the best of the day. A Brisbane Lions size large windbreaker jacket. Vintage Brisbane Lions. I've been an AFL fan all my life and the Brizzy Lions are my favorite team. So whether or not I sell this one is yet to be determined. This is one of the great grabs that I have ever found and I'm super stoked to be taking this away to end op shop run number two. Boy, oh boy, guys. I'm absolutely blown away by this one. A Brisbane Lions vintage windbreaker jacket found in the thrift. There was no price tags on it. I went up to the till and I said, how much for it? And uh, and she said $5. I really don't think she knew what I had my hands on with this one here. It is an absolute beauty. My estimation is about $100 worth of resale value on eBay. And uh, I'd love to know in the comments below what you think that will go on to resell for. I just think it's a beautiful piece. Uh, the Brisbane Lions are playing some very good footy in the AFL at the moment as well. So that's only going to help me, especially coming into finals time at the moment as well. So a huge run there, guys. Uh, let's keep punching on. Op shop run number three. We're doing pretty well so far. <laughs> Doesn't matter what op shop you go into, this is always going to be a very crispy find. I managed to find myself this Red Bull Holden racing jacket, 100% cotton, fully embroidered up, as you can see here, with all the right sponsorship branding. It's all over the front, all over the back, all over the collar, everything you would want out of a Holden racing jacket until I saw the price. $160 for an op shop item? That is just madness, guys. Found myself a pair of Under Armour men's running shoes. These were $15. These are the Threadborns. 
actually quite a good pair of shoes, to be honest with you. I think I should be able to push about $50 like normal for those ones. So I was happy to pick those ones up. Moved across to the uh, the Crocs. I found the shoes that your dad would wear to the neighbor's barbecue, the Crocs slip-on boat shoes. I actually ended up picking these ones up. Believe it or not, they still do sell a $6 purchase there. I found the uh, the Tri-Base Under Armour women's running shoes, plain black, as you can see there. $14 turns into $65 once I've given it a bit of TLC back at home. Also found the Crocodile Hunter Steve Irwin DVD. Anything you can find with Steve Irwin Crocodile Hunter, it does comp up pretty well on eBay. So I was happy to find that. And then I also found these X-Men DVDs. Now, I had three out of the four that I needed to complete volumes one and two, but that didn't stop me having a bit of a scan through to see if I could find that fourth disc. And then sure enough, there it is right there. A really great grab. The comp's now about $35 in pre-owned condition. The DVDs, guys, they do sell. Speaking of DVDs, I found this one with a comp on it for $80, and that sparked a bit of interest. Now, this was the South Korean Musical Act. I don't know these guys, and I apologize to any Koreans that are watching this, um, but ultimately, guys, an $80 price point was comping for $150 with a bunch of international sales. So I ummed and ahed about this one. It was a Region 3 for Korea, and um, in the end, I reluctantly passed. I reluctantly passed. All right, guys, op shop run number three all wrapped up. A few pairs of shoes, some DVDs. Um, really want to finish things off on a high, guys. I want to find some great, really cool, unique items. Would have loved to have bought that Korean DVD, but $80 was just a little bit too steep for me. Please let me know in the comments below what you would have done with that one. I'd be very interested to hear, but uh, I do want to buy a few more items. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going today so far. We've definitely been able to grab a few, but... Uh, I really want to buy a few more. I hope that op shop run number four could be a really big one to finish off the episode. So stick with us, op shop run number four coming up. I'll tell you what guys, I have saved some of the best for last. I found these FootJoy brand new with tags performance pants. These are golf pants and uh, in brand new condition, they go for about 70 to $80. Not only that, but they are a size 34 waist, a 32 length. You couldn't ask for a better size. That is just a great grab. The books, 50 cents each for these books. I have sold this uh, series before. John Marsden, Tomorrow When the War Began. I've paid two bucks 50 here. I last sold a bundle of nine for $60. So you do the maths. There's definitely going to be some really good money made on those. I found this brand for the second time this week. New, definitely a really good brand to be looking out for, guys. Uh, I've only paid the $2 in the end. Uh, it was a half price sale in this op shop. So this was an unbelievable grab. The last pair that I sold this week sold in 48 hours on eBay for $75 off to the UK. Also found these as well, just some really essential Adidas track pants. Again, being a half price day, I saw them with an $8 tag ended up getting them for $4. And then I found these Volcom checkered board shorts or casual shorts. Again, a $4 tag got them for $2. So I thought that was pretty good. I thought I was done for the day. I got to the cash register and then sure enough, I see the Melbourne Rattles jersey hanging up on the wall. What a great little grab this was. I asked the lady, is it available? She said, yes, it was. And I was absolutely blown away to see that it was brand new with tags for $6. That is a buzzer beater. Guys, I'm really happy with the way we were able to finish off this trip. These five items right here came to just the $19. So a couple of brand new with tags as well in there. That was a very successful finish to the day. Everything else here as well, there is a total of 22 items. The best of the bunch definitely being this Brisbane Lions windbreaker jacket for just the five bucks. But everything that you can see here that we picked up was $140 worth of value. No doubt there's going to be a heap of profit when we get it onto eBay. So the 30% clubbers that are still here watching now, thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate the support. It was so cool to see all of the comments in last Tuesday's video mentioning the fact that you were sticking the videos out right through to the very end. It is hugely appreciated, and I just can't thank you enough, guys. I'm going to leave you with another video right here, which is a trip to the thrift from a few weeks ago that I enjoyed making, and hopefully you can enjoy watching. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you soon.